keep going. So I'll basically I'm just lining up this notch where it's zero is up to where the previous morph was at 100% on the very same frame. And I think I may be off here. Let me highlight everybody again. Yeah. This is uh, 29, 28, so. 29. Oh, and I'm still off on the other ones, too. There we go. Everybody's lining up perfectly good. And we do one more of these. Copy, paste, and I will move this right here. All right. Now, the next thing to do is to select everybody. All right, and then stretch and move these guys around so that the animation clip we've just made of all these morphs goes from negative 50 to right here. This would be 0. Uh, and it's negative 20, so that's not good. So we could just pick them like this and do a little stretch move. Control plus left mouse button equals stretch time. Let's see where we're at now. Negative five. There, that's better. I can select it. Uh, this is frame one. Frame zero. Okay, good. Now, it's probably not going to be an even animation because not all the morphs were evenly spaced apart, but these are evenly spaced apart and everything should be set so all I have to do now is animate the controller and we should see a nice fully featured blink action going on here so let me select this I'll just add that to the bin here and do a little award-winning animation from 0 to 30. We'll go from 0 to 1. That one's 0, the other one's 1. There we go. Oh, we're, we're in the negatives here still. So here's frame 0. There we go. And it looks like I got a little issue here. I might have to actually modify my Morris. We'll see. And uh, there was something unexpected there. It looks like the skin above his eyelid is kind of like rolling around like I chose different points for different morphs when I was trying to make his skin fold. Well, that's that's very unfortunate to see. So I may have to redo my morphs, or at least modify them. But, you can see, for the most part, the skin is sliding over the surface of the eyeball, and the eyeball's not poking through, except for what's going on here. Again, I, I'm going to have to modify my morphs. What's probably happening is, this would be one morph, and then this would be another morph, so right in the in-between here there's some strangeness going on. It's like there's too much distance between this morph and the other morph. So I may have to make a, an in-between morph for these two. So that won't be too bad of a deal. But basically that's how you do it. One nonlinear morph. And you can uh, copy and paste the uh, 
all the, the the data that I put on this channel is from the right side to the left side, and then just uh, choose a different controller. Of course, you have to make one. I only made the one for the right side. But uh, that's basically it. So sorry I didn't have a uh, cleaner example. Once I put everything together, I'm seeing this for the first time with the, the glitches and everything. So uh, I will see you next video. Have fun.